Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafo nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram to cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails these very waters. And he may have the precursor There he boss. is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man, but out of his element here. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into the pirates. He's refitting his ship. So something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. But well, he's back from the long voyage. And our chance to get him. He holds close to the Templar's well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Fire! Look out! Through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. It worked. The way is clear. Uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. Careful. These waters are... It's an ambush! Our way is in the other affair. Smith must not escape.
I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Still within reach. That wind's trouble, Captain Cormac. What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed.
returning to Le Garfou. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was... Necessary. What? But nothing. Smith was a dangerous man. A Templar. What's worse, he had the precursor box. You should be proud of yourself, Shay. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Walter, the fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to, he gave him. Sigawasi reported that James Walter polluted out many tribes from their ancestral lands. We have proof that he did countless massacres. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the colonies. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purposes. And when the law does not bend to him, he gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Mark my word, Shay. James Walter is a bureaucrat. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. Yeah.